we um, began the project back in 2007 and we sell a hand and body lotion for $20.95 and of that 100% of the proceeds minus the tax go towards great grassroots charities that work on animal, environmental and humanitarian causes around the world. We support small grassroots groups that are making significant change in their community and that are really struggling and uh, usually are under $500,000 uh, annual revenue a year. And we, since launching it in 2007, we've raised over $2 million for charities around the world and signed on hundreds of charities. And their logo and their 50 words will go on the pot and that will be uh, distributed across 150 stores across North America and all the new stores that are opening as well. So one of the things we like to do when we sign on the charity is help to see how we can better promote their cause beyond just monetary giving. So rather than just cutting a check and being done with it, we like to build a relationship with them and really see how we can support what they're doing in their community. So one way we do that is using our, uh, our stores as a way to host a party for them and that party builds awareness about their campaign, it builds awareness amongst our customer base about um, the education and what it is that they're talking about, whether they want to build a campaign around signing postcards or protecting an area or, or um, a certain species that might be endangered or whether it's around a humanitarian issue that they might be based in a city in North America but are working in Africa or abroad somewhere. So we use the store as a way to help promote them and they can sell t-shirts, they can raise money, they can um, be creative and use costumes and use their creative creativity to support them. And so one of the things that we're doing here tonight is hosting our one of our recent charities that we signed on, Stop UBC Animal Research. They're the first group in Canada that has started to pressure the government and the regulating bodies for better transparency around the releasing of the Freedom of Information Acts on animal research that's happening in universities. And we're trying to to eventually have an end to animal testing is their ask, but at the same time realizing that while that may not happen right away, we are at least pushing for better transparency and regulations and, um, and better policies in place.